I'm Dr. Elizabeth Hawkes and I'm a consultant ophthalmologist and oculoplastic surgeon. I specialise in eyelid surgery and eye health. My main area of expertise is in blepharoplasty surgery. I'm going to be clearing up the misconception that red light LED masks are bad for the eyes. Light is powerful. So we have light in the visible spectrum, which is light that we can see, and light in the non-visible spectrum, which is light that we can't see. Red light has been around in medicine for decades and its therapeutic benefits are well established and extensively published in the literature. We're specifically talking about two frequencies of wavelengths, wavelengths at 633 nanometers long and wavelengths in the near infrared spectrum, which is just outside the visible spectrum, at 830 nanometers. So these masks are emitting light in the visible spectrum at the red frequency wavelength. How they work specifically is they enter the skin, enter the cells and work on the mitochondria. The mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. How it works is it stimulates the mitochondria to be more efficient and produce more energy. And this is great because when it stimulates the fibroblasts, it will stimulate them to make more collagen, specifically type one and type three. And this is important for skin rejuvenation because it gives the skin its thickness and improves the quality. So there's been a lot of negative publicity in the media about the harmful effects of light to the eyes. So it's really important to clear this up. So firstly, there are lots of different light wavelengths. You have x-rays, microwaves, UV light. What we're talking about here is red light, which is in the visible spectrum. And it's so important not to confuse this with blue light. And blue light is everywhere. The most powerful source is the sun, but it's also emitted from smartphones, screens. It can also affect your circadian rhythm, which is essentially the sleep-wake cycle and can affect how you sleep. So it's usually advised to not use your smartphone, laptop and avoid screens an hour before bed if you want to have a restful night. But saying that, blue light at the correct wavelength does also have therapeutic benefits in patients with acne. And what's interesting is red light therapy is actually now being used in human trials to treat patients with dry age-related macular degeneration, which is a condition affecting the retina, and also in patients in myopia. So its therapeutic benefits are well established, not just in the skin, and they're also establishing in the eyes. So it is perfectly safe to use red light. So it's really important not to get confused between red light, which is long wavelength and is well established for its therapeutic benefits and skin rejuvenation, and not to get confused with the negative effect of blue light, which is everywhere, but also to remember that blue light at the correct wavelength can actually have therapeutic benefits. So it's important when choosing a product to prioritize safety. And this is so important when we're talking about light masks because light is powerful. So you don't want to choose a cheap device that may not meet the regulatory standards. So the current body mask has FDA approval in the US and CE marking in Europe, but it also has met regulatory standards worldwide. And that's a really important point when choosing these light masks at home. Other unique points is the precision of the wavelength due to the engineering quality. You want to ensure that the light you're delivering to your skin is actually at the wavelength it says it is, in the therapeutic range and not necessarily in the harmful range which we may not even know about. Finally, the fit of the mask is really important. So Current Body have done extensive studies in terms of the fit and they've tried the mask on different genders, face shapes and ethnicities. For that reason, it fits tight against the skin. So you know you're getting an accurate amount of red light to the skin where you want it. Overall, as an eye surgeon, I have a huge emphasis and really prioritize safety in my practice. I want to ensure that light masks I'm recommending to my patients that I have confidence in the science behind them. I want to make sure the light mask is safe and does not damage the eyes. For that reason, I always recommend the current body mask.